Hello, my name is John Doheny. I'm the president and CEO of Doheny's. In 1967, my parents started this company to help customers like you make their pools perfect. Today, our pool pros are gonna walk you through the basics of how to open your pool. Let's get started. A question we get a lot is when should I open my pool? You should open it as early as possible. While it might not seem like it makes sense to open when it's too cold to swim, warmer water is more apt to breed algae. The longer you leave it closed, the warmer the water will get. So if you get the system running and the pool balanced in cooler weather, it will be much easier to get your water into prime swimming condition. Now let's talk about the supplies you want to have on hand to open your pool. You'll need a leaf net with telescoping pole, a cover pump, a pool vacuum, a test kit or test strips, a Doheny's startup kit, and chlorine. You've got your tools. Let's start opening this baby up. The first thing you need to do is remove the cover. First, use your leaf net to clean off as much debris as possible. Then, using your pump, drain the water off the top of the cover, making sure it's as clean and dry as possible. After you've removed the cover, carry it, don't drag it, to an area where you can spread it out. Clean your cover using a hose and some soap and water. Let it dry, fold it up, and store it according to the manufacturer's instructions. Now it's time to take a peek at your water. If all went well, your water should be fairly clean. If you do notice debris, now is the time to get it out. Using your leaf net, scoop out as much as you can and use a vacuum to clean up any small particles. With the cover off and the water clean, go around your pool and remove the winter plugs from the return lines and skimmers, as well as the skim insures. Then, refill your pool, bringing it up to its correct operational level and restart your pump and filter. This process may vary depending on what type of system you have. Consult your owner's manual for the proper startup process for your pump and filter. Now your system is up and running and it's time to balance the water. You're almost there. Take out your test kit or test strips. If you're using our Doheny startup kits, they include 10 free test strips. If using a test kit, make sure it hasn't expired. Reagents typically last about a year. If they are older than that, you'll need to replace them. Using your test kit, take a water sample and check your chemical levels. Prior to adding your startup chemicals, it is important that your water is balanced so that your pool opening chemicals are most effective. Before adding any chemicals, make sure that you read the labels and follow any safety precautions. And this is very important. If the directions call for you to dilute it in water, always add your chemicals to the water. Do not add water to your chemicals. Why does it matter? Adding water to your chemicals can cause unexpected reactions and result in serious injury. For a more detailed explanation of pool chemicals, visit our YouTube channel and check out our pool chemicals basics video. Once the chemicals in your pool water are balanced, you'll add the contents of your Doheny startup kit to get it back into optimum swimming condition. Carefully read the directions included with your startup kit and add chemicals in the following order. Metal out is a powerful sequestering agent that prevents stains and scaling on pool surfaces. Let the pool water circulate for at least two hours before moving to the next step. Chlorine shock quickly raises chlorine levels, destroying organic contaminants and killing algae and bacteria in your pool water. Once again, allow the pool to circulate for at least two hours. Algicide kills any algae in your pool and prevents it from growing in the future. And yes, you guessed it, wait at least two hours while the pool circulates before moving on to the final step. Water clarifiers remove contaminants that cause cloudy water and are too tiny to be trapped by your pool filtration system and help give you a sparkling clean pool. Run the pool pump for at least two hours after adding the clarifier. At this point, you should have added the contents of your startup kit. Just one more step, add your sanitizer. Use chlorine tablets or sticks in an automatic chlorinator or floating feeder to reach the desired level of one to three parts per million. You now know the basics of pool opening. If you still have questions, please visit our website to chat with one of our expert pool pros or to view one of our many tutorials. 
All the products shown here in this video are available to you on Doheny.com. And as always, please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to have access to all of our instructional videos.